There you go. That's good sound. So now, it's another episode, well, another segment of Women Drink What? So tonight, we have Beer Me Canada. So, she joined when beer, and here we go. Also, How are you? Video. She wanted to know what we were doing. I'm good. <laughs> That's good. How's the weather in uh, Vancouver? It's a nice sunny day today. Nice. Here was sunny. It was uh, around 29 Celsius. Oh, okay. We're not that high. We're like maybe 22, 27 maybe? Yeah, not that oh. <laughs> Question for you first, though. Yeah. How is the winter over there? The winters? Correct. Not bad at all. I grew up in Alaska, so winters here are mellow compared to up there. So. Here, last winter, we had roughly about seven feet of snow. Yeah, I definitely don't miss the snow. Not at all. No. No. Yeah, and the, yeah, seven feet of snow, and the, the lowest it, it went to was like minus 33 Celsius. Okay, the, the coldest winter I've had is minus 50 below, so that would be whatever, it, I think, yeah. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, so I definitely don't miss the winters. Well, uh, that's a good winter for a warming up with beer. Yes. I was at a drinking age, but I am now, so. Yeah. <laughs> So let's start off the questions. Okay. What is your, well, we're going to switch this one. What is your favorite beer? I can't really say favorite beer. Like, I went through your questions and okay. found out some beers, but I can't really say favorite beer because I, I couldn't narrow it down. I mean, I've got a few here that I have left out from four packs, so I can okay. show you. I mean, granted, the latest would be Backcountry. Double Dry Hop Widowmaker. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, their usual Widowmaker always on that they always have. Then they did a, a double Widowmaker Limited, this one too. Freaking awesome. Nice. Um, yeah, uh, it was only available at the brewery. I mean, they do awesome ones. Like uh, they also did a Tart Key Lime Ale. Really good. Oh. And then uh, around the same time that the double dry hop Widowmaker came out, they have a raspberry smoothie sour. Raspberry smoothie. That sounds good. Yes. It's got uh, vanilla and fresh raspberries in it. Really good. Or like the one that just came out, what's today, the 27th? One that canned on the 22nd and we got it in at my work, I want to say like the next day, fresh hop. Mm -hmm. So, it's fresh hop season. Do you guys have... What's, mar what's marked on the can? So, it's a fresh hop IPA. Fresh hop, okay. From Powell Street. Really good. Nice. Yeah. Um, or another one... I mean, I gotta also go with Strathcona Brewing. Freaking awesome. This is the third release of their anniversary beer. Uh, Headbanger. Mm. It's a triple IPA. Nice. So, uh, yeah, 10.4%. Really good. Yeah. Oh, uh, I like beers. <laughs> <laughs> I know, which is why I had a hard time trying to narrow it down to my favorite one. I mean, with working at a liquor store, I kind of just go for whatever new beers come in because I mm -hmm. see it as homework. So I got to I gotta try it. Oh, yeah. You know, product knowledge. I got to let the customers know what's good. Oh, uh, yeah. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. I was gonna, actually, this is another one, too. Um, Blood Brothers Brewing. You know them. Blood Brother, yeah. I've yeah. heard it. So, uh, Steel and Oak did a collab with them. Uh, Sleepwalkers. It's a cold brew coffee stout. Really good, too. Huh. Um, we got nice. it over here. I'm not sure if you guys will get it over there with Blood Brothers, but because they came out here and did the collab with them. Really good, too. Nice, fresh oh. coffee. Yeah. Oh, coffee, but no, yeah. I, I, the last one I've had of that was... I can't remember the company, but it was a coffee stout, and it it was good. It, it it's a different taste. It, it's a different taste. I it's I mean, not if, if you like if you like coffee, then you'll like your coffee beers. I mean, it is. It's not for everybody. No, no, no. 
I don't, I, no, don't get me wrong. I like coffee. <laughs> but coffee I like beer, but it, it, uh, no, it, it was good, but it's not something I'd get drunk on it. No, no. But, well, also, but, this one is only this one's only four point three percent, so okay. it's not strong, but it's definitely full of coffee flavor and so yeah. incredible. Yeah, really good. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I would drink it for, just the, the taste and okay, that's oh, good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. And move on to the beer. <laughs> yes. Yeah, one of the beers, you, one of the beers you have there. Yeah. Uh, name one that's close to you. Uh, where I am, I'm. I work in Vancouver, but I live in White Rock. Um, okay. the closest wise, can't really say that any of these are really close to me because that country brewing is out in Squamish, which is a good two-hour drive if traffic is good. Okay. Um, if anything, just because I live, I work in Vancouver and I'm there five days a week, I mm-hmm. definitely would say Strathcona or Powell. Powell. Both walking distance from each other. Um, okay. Both in East Van. Both have tasting rooms. So I doubt that Headbanger would still be on tap, but they definitely have the Fresh Lot beer available. But I mean, <laughs> also, I got all these from my work. So it's kind of, yes. yeah. Yeah. What's the best beer you had? Oh, best beer. I can't say overall best beer, but probably the best beer that I've had this week, just from what I've had for my after work beers, mm-hmm. is definitely living in a van down in the river. It's a okay. secession IPA from backcountry. I mean, granted, it's only 4.5%, but so tasty. So so good, yeah. Nice. No, yeah. What's the very good. What's the ABV on that one? Um, the thing is that they don't say that on their cans. Oh no. Uh, well, the IBU twenty five, and yeah, and the percentage is four point five percent. Oh, that's not bad. No, but I mean, granted, some people would say that it's not strong enough, but it's so full of flavor for a session IPA. So nice. good. Yeah. No, yeah. Backcountry brewing knows what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite brewery you visited so far? That was another hard one to kind of narrow down. Um, <laughs> I don't live near anyone's, like where I live, there aren't any really that are walking distance. So if I get a chance, um, days off, if I have a friend that drives, because I don't drive, uh, yeah. definitely go out to Fieldhouse, the beers they do are awesome. Their taste room is awesome. That and dog friendly, so I can bring the, the dog. Um, okay. Other than that, uh, also, backcountry. Out in Squamish, awesome to go to. Their taste room, the selection they have, and a lot of times they'll have guest taps. But, yeah, I can't really, I can't really narrow down to my favorite one. I mean, it all depends on the weather, and then also if animals are like allowed on the patio and stuff, but We've okay. got a lot of really good breweries out here, though. So. Well, I guess I'm going to have to take a trip to NB Liquor and uh, try to find uh, some beer from BC. Yes. I mean, I I don't know which ones make it out there. I know I send some beer to a couple of people out there. So, but yeah, it, it will be worth it if you can find any. Definitely Backcountry, yeah. Strathcona, Steel and Oak. No, they're yeah. all really good. Yeah. It's like I was talking to the other one from California yesterday. She was drinking uh, 12 Monkeys. Okay. Out of, yeah. out of uh, uh, Ohio, I think she said. Give me a second. And I went through the cans I reviewed, and I have Flying Monkeys. Ah. I was like, what the hell? It's like I already reviewed it, and I was like, holy crap. <laughs> that is so, the one brewery I haven't had yet. So I'm pretty sure. No, it's it, it was a pretty good. There, it's a uh, four point one and the ras- raspberry lager. Okay. It was a, a different taste. It was good. I, I like raspberries, and it was a a good taste. See, that's that's the one thing with the um the raspberry smoothie from Backcountry. I'm not a big mm-hmm. fan of raspberries, but that, I think that okay. just comes down to if a beer if it doesn't taste fr- like if it's not fresh raspberry, then it's not good. But the backcountry one was really good. And then also uh, the, I, hopefully I'm not getting the name wrong, but it was the Raspberry Wise from Fieldhouse with fennel in it. So good. I mean, just.
just nice fresh raspberry. And so those two beers with the raspberry are definitely switching my opinion over to that raspberry beers are tasty. But yeah. I'm going to have to go take a trip to India liquor. Because uh, I'll be, uh, this winter, I'll be going, like, uh, doing uh, another uh, segment, uh, International. Okay. I'll be, I'll be uh, picking out 17 beers that's from around the world. And we'll be uh, reviewing them either on Instagram or Facebook. Okay. Whereas, like, it's going to take part probably end of, well, mid, uh, mid-November mid till probably, like, to February or March. That's, that's oh, okay. really, it's going to be some hard work. Some hard work, but very tasty beers. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yep. What is one beer that you have there that you would recommend to people? I definitely would recommend them all. I mean, same thing with at, at work, just because I consider this homework. So I yeah. try anything and everything possible that we get in at my work. And um, so getting, like, drinking all the different styles. I mean, I have learned that granted i just i'm not a big lager or pilsner fan anymore and okay maybe it's just because they're a little too boring for my palate now <laughs> but i mean i've gotten to know customers that when they're looking for stuff i always ask like if they're looking for an ipa hazy ipa if they're looking for a sour um one cool one though is um this guy it's fairly new um little his uh i guess this brewery would be it's lifted but it's a super lemon hazy ipa right. um the interesting thing is that it's got the terpenes from pot in it so it's actually named after a pot strain uh -huh. so it's it's an interesting one that's making the rounds it's very tasty um you can get it at quite a few liquor stores don't have it at my work but definitely uh back country um yeah, the Session IPA, living in a van down by the river. Really good nice. one. That and also Powell Street, just because Fresh Hop season started, and they're the first ones to put out a Fresh Hop beer so far. Yeah. Um, so it's a good one to start off with, which I, I have to have another one because the one I had the other night, I was drinking it and eating barbecue chips, and I swear I was getting cucumber flavor, so I've got to try really? it without any potato chips. Yeah. I can't, yeah, it's just like, I gotta try and make sure that it wasn't, you know, messing with my taste buds. But. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Barbecue chip, oh boy. Oh, yeah. Uh, where, <laughs> where can we find you on the internet? Um, I pretty much, just for my beer, I have only have my beer in Canada, so my Instagram. Um, I have a Facebook page, but it's pretty much just the same. My posts are just posted to there. Um, right. Other than that, I also do the social media for my work, and I work at Brewery Creek. It's all, like, there's an Instagram page, Brewery Creek, and okay. it's, yeah, that's a, that's about it so far. I mean, I'm working on other stuff, but, you know, I've got my adulting to do, so I can't do all craft beer all the time. Wow. Okay. Um, wish you were? I wish I could do craft beer all the time, but, yeah. Uh, sometimes you gotta do other stuff. Yes. <laughs> What's your future plans for Beer Me Canada? Um, honestly, I am just kind of letting it unfold as the way it's going. I started it off um, almost five years ago. The previous liquor store I worked at, the previous owners didn't want to do social media. And I didn't understand why they didn't want to do an Instagram page. So mm -hmm. I started my beer page to kind of showcase the beers that we were getting in at work. And then new owners took over and they did social media, but I kept my page going. And I kind okay. of, it's to me, it's like me to show what my homework is because the beers I have after work, the beers I have on my days off are my homework. It's like product knowledge. I got to be able to know, I got to be able to talk to customers about what beers they might like. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm happy with how it's going. I'm not going to try and push it any further than it needs to be right now. And I'm, yeah, I'm just going to let it kind of unfold as it's going and have fun yeah. drinking beers as I do, so. Well, it's homework. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's the best kind of homework so far. 
Well, yeah, because you don't want a customer going in and say, yeah, I want this kind of beer. And you say, like, I don't know, maybe it's that, maybe it's this. At least you know what okay. the product is. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. me when I sold uh, cell phones, uh, it was the same way. I knew all everything about iPhones, Android, Samsung, every friggin' phone there is on the market. So people come in, well, I'm looking for this type of phone. Okay, well, what do you want to do with it? I want to do this, I want to do that. Okay, man, this phone you have, you got to do. So they would get the phone, and week after, the cup, they would come back and say, oh, I really like this phone. Yeah. So it's the same thing. Well, also, the, the one thing I find myself doing is, like, I don't just recommend beer to people because mm -hmm. I know a lot of the people at the breweries, um, the one, like, just working in the industry, working at a liquor store for the past five years now, meeting a lot of awesome people that also work in the industry and then learning the backstory about how a beer came about. So then when a customer asks for something, I don't just give them the beer. Sometimes I just ramble on about how the beer came about and all the, the backstories and stuff, which they find interesting too. But yeah, I, I talk too much about craft beer sometimes. I can give you a backstory. You know what the oldest recipe in the world is for beer? Well, well, actually, well, I should because I was just reading a book. It's the history of the world in four glasses. So it's like beer is the first section. Mm -hmm. But it was I want, it was almost four months ago that I read it. But yeah, there's a whole section in there about the first beers and the first names and stuff. But yeah, I couldn't remember. The oldest recipe they found in the world was is uh, 3,900 years old. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Well, if from, it's from the ancient Sumerians. Yes, okay, yeah, that was, yeah, that was yeah, the book. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I'm, I'm covering that through Beer Historia, another, yeah. another thing I'm doing. And I, w I was like, holy crap, beer is just not beer. It has history. Oh, yeah. It's like on, on the co out of the coast of Australia. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the shipwreck. Yeah, the shipwreck, the oldest beer that they did, it's 125 years old. Yeah. And it's called Preservation Hill. Yeah. yeah. Um, I keep telling that to people around. I was like, that's the oldest beer. Well, yeah, because when they cultivated the, the yeast, yeah. and they replicated it, and they took the recipe from that, that that era, and there you go, they made the, the beer. Oh, yeah. So, uh, somebody that I follow on my beer Instagram, uh, he had a bottle of it, and he was talking about it, too. Yeah. Crazy expensive, I'm sure. But also probably well, yeah. worth it. Well, yeah. Save it for a special occasion to drink it. Yeah, and it, like the other beer in the Grumeister that they made a the strongest beer in the world, sixty-seven point five percent. Holy shit! At that point, it's stronger than vodka, stronger than it, almost like moonshine. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, I would like I would like to taste it. Just to taste Not, it. Yeah, not the whole bottle, because no, the, no, the but, whole bottle ranges between 80 to 100 bucks. Oh, no, yeah, just a taste would be good. Oh, yeah, just a taste. Yeah. <laughs> Expensive beer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I thank you very much for being on Woman... Oh, uh, wait, what was it again? Woman Drink What? Yes, no, uh, thank you for uh, having this be my first live chat. Like I said, I hate talking on video. Like, I... Like if I if I play this back later, like when you post it, and I hate the sound of my voice, and it's mm -hmm. just it's I'm sure a lot of people hate the sounds of their own voices, but no, yeah, the this was this was a good stepping stone, so maybe I'll do more. I don't know. Yes, awesome. thank you. I told you I'd be easy on you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank it's you. Like, it's like doing a, this kind of type of show. It's like drinking beer, oh. hanging out with a friend. It's just talking. I know, like, of all these beers, I'm trying to decide which one to crack open right now, because this, granted, it's Sunday, but it's my Saturday. Okay. So I, I don't know which one to drink first, but <laughs> I'll do a post later, so we'll see which one I drink. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much for being on this segment, and hopefully we can see you again next time. Yes, no, yeah, this would be awesome to do again. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye now. Well, that was Beer Me Canada. She's in Vancouver.
uh, I am from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Go on her Instagram, go follow her. And to the breweries that are in Vancouver, if I can't find your guy, you guys here at Andy Liquor, I'm in New Brunswick, of course. If I can't find you guys, I wonder if you guys can contact me. I'd like to try to taste one of your beers. Uh, that would be awesome. So with that, thank you for watching and see you on the flip side.